We start tonight with breaking news. Paul Flores was just found guilty in the death and disappearance of Stockton native Kristen Smart. Good evening. I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Laura Painter. Thank you for joining us. ABC 10's Lou Clary is live in the studio right now with details of the story that we have been following closely for the last several weeks. And Luke, a monumental day, decades in the making. Yes, Laura, it was a packed courtroom in Salinas at the Monterey County Courthouse as two juries delivered two dramatic verdicts. Paul Flores, guilty of first degree murder. Another jury finding his father, Ruben Flores, not guilty. And moments ago, we heard from Kristen Smart's father, Stan Smart, who said that their quest for justice would continue. His daughter, Kristen Smart, a Stockton native and Cal Poly student in San Luis Obispo, who went missing in 1996. Paul Flores, a classmate, and now at the age of 45, faces a sentence of 25 years to life. His father, Ruben Flores, was facing a felony charge of accessory after the fact, and he was acquitted today by a separate jury. Again, moments ago, we heard from the Smart family. They said that this is not over. Without Kristen, there is no joy or happiness in this verdict. After 26 years with today's split verdicts, we learned that our quest for justice for Kristen will continue. And Smart went on to say that this has been an agonizingly long journey with more ups than, uh, rather more downs than ups, he said. But that his family was grateful for the diligence and energy of the two juries, thoroughly reviewing the facts and reaching their decisions. Again, Paul Flores found guilty of first degree murder. He will be sentenced at the Monterey County Courthouse on December 9th at 9 a.m. His father, Ruben, acquitted in those split verdicts, Chris. And again, Luke, sadly, decades later, the family's still searching for Kristen Smart. Her body has never been recovered. That's right. San Luis Obispo Sheriff Ian Parkinson saying that even though Paul was convicted today, the case isn't over until they're able to bring Kristen home to the family. Chris. Our Luke Clary reporting for us to start us off. Luke, thank you.